Hey everybody, welcome, Hello. welcome to the first episode of Unbreakable Sentai Plays. That's a fucking was it Sentai? I thought it was Super. No, it's just regular Sentai. Oh, yeah. Because right. Super Sentai uh, will get a suit. <laughs> get a suit. <laughs> yeah, su Super Sentai is a very specific thing. Like okay. that's the actual name of what Power Rangers is. Mm. So if we took that and their designs, they'd go, "Hey, motherfuckers!" <laughs> um, not that I, you know, ever. We're playing Onimusha, Onimusha Warlords. I, I've got some things to say about this game because I love it, yeah. love it a lot. I've seen you play it before. Yeah, I mean, I've I've never played this game. Is what I meant to say. <laughs> this is a new game. Uh, we're gonna use the normal outfit because why would I ever have unlocked the special outfit? Uh, <laughs> you've never played. I've never played. We're gonna play on normal. It's gonna be fine gonna be fun now this is gonna be a, a little bit of a cutscene here which is fine um i fucking love this game i think this game has probably i don't know it not the best character designs i've ever seen oh, yeah. but but it has superb like character and enemy designs not counting this maggot um <laughs> that was and, weird to start the uh, <laughs> cutscene on yeah i mean you need it um no but this this is like I'm not gonna say it, it like started my travels of being a weeaboo, <laughs> but like this was the first game that I played. This like this game defines the PlayStation 2 for me, and it's the first game where I looked and I'm like, yeah, dude, samurai are like fucking samurai sick. Ninjas, like swords. Oh, holy shit, katanas, dude, get out of here, fucking katanas though. You know, like so this uh this cutscene's really actually not that great. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the visuals are great because, like, it damn. Looks, it looks pretty good. Um, but it really sets up, I wouldn't even say, like, the real beginning to the story. Um, damn. Look at this. Boring states, period. Look at that motherfucker. <laughs> Nobunaga Oda. Um, one of the most polarizing people in Japan, I feel. Well, if only because. Every single game. Well, he's in a samurai. Yeah, and what, is he a villain or is he a hero? It depends on the game. He's the. He's a villain in this game, in this whole series. Um, but, like, depending on what game you play, he's either, like, Japan's greatest hero or is Japan's greatest villain. It's fucking crazy. Um, I feel like I feel like there should be something, but I, like, <laughs> how much I love this game, I should have loved something. Uh, so <laughs> he this, was actually a villain. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that main character. Look at that. right. Enemy. Oof. So, uh, Darius is not here, obviously, yeah. because he doesn't no one. like chilling and playing games. Yeah, he's not cool. Not like us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but, so Darius is, is, is notoriously bad at names, to the point of, like, he, he can't tell names and faces together. He, he doesn't know off the top of his head which Elric brother is which in Full Metal Alchemist. Oh. Yeah. And remember what he said on the podcast, Full Metal Alchemist is brotherhood is what he considers one of the top tier of anime. And he has a heart, like, he doesn't... How do you... Lord, it's fine. We you have not... taken Lord Suruga's okay, head! Remember metal face and non-metal face. <laughs> yeah, right. Human, non-man. <laughs> also, watch this. He won! Oh! He's dead. Ayo! Game's over. <laughs> All right, guys, that, that was, was the quick. end of Onimusha Warlords, and uh, we'll see you in <laughs> game two. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he, he, took, he took that heart. He got real slammed. Uh... But no, and uh, Samonosuke, which is this character right here, the main character, Samonosuke Akechi, is, he, he, Darius loves this character. He knows his name. Like, in, like, really? Yeah. Because <laughs> he's like, I don't know why. His design isn't, like, crazy. Like, it's not new. It's not whatever. But his design is good. It's just solid character design. Like, he's red. He's just got slick-looking armor. And like, like I said, it's just like... I don't want to say generic samurai armor, but like, look at it. It's just, it's just like samurai plate. Millions of other fucking playable characters have this, you know? Like, what makes him so special? Well, you'll fucking see, because this game is amazing. Um, it's not that long either. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say what I, I usually beat this game at, just in case I blow my own asshole out live. You know, uh, so Samonosuke ran here to save the princess. That's his uh, ninja friend Kaede. They don't explain this, like they don't really talk about where they met or anything. He just has to figure out what's going on. 
lot of shit happened. Bad guy died and ran into a room. Yep. And a moth was on fire. That moth got shit on. <laughs> and there were some ninjas going. Clearly, they were the ones that kidnapped her. But yeah, fucking. Uh, oh, oh, but he took an arrow to the throat. Oh, well, why is Nobunaga alive? Oh, fuck, he's a demon king. <laughs> oh, look at those evil eyes. No, I. <laughs> That's why I said the the intro looks cool. Onimusha three has the best intro ever created. Oh really? Uh, dude, have you never seen it? Um, I don't remember. I, being you being, may have shown it to I was me. gonna say being my friend, I, I probably would have, especially with us being you know animation students. Right. Um, okay, I I'm sorry to everybody, but like some time to help. this letter is the letter Something that Seminosuke picked up, which is just Castle. her being like, hey. Some of the maids Something's wrong. I'm gonna get kidnapped. That it might be the but at the same monsters. time, she already got kidnapped in that cutscene. So and Seminosuke showed up. So, like, is... Tell me is that, that cutscene even remotely canon? Because you see her here in, like, four minutes. And it's like, what? But if this is supposed to be the when castle she's from, then what? He did not Why is interested. she... It, it's... Look, the story of Onimusha 1 is not why you play <laughs> Onimusha 1. Um, so people who don't know Onimusha, um, it's going to get better after this fucking cutscene because I can actually move around and exist. Um, can you skip this? I can. I just wanted to at least get all the words on there for you know, anyone who does care about the story, which you shouldn't. Um, yeah, I know you. I, bro, I, we were playing Cave Story, and you were like, yo, skip all these dialogue. And I was like, man. You gotta, you gotta show off the dialogue. I want to shoot like, people, it. kill the guys. So I'm playing this on the on the Nintendo Our Switch because the remake makes me so happy, and Northern I hope they remake path. two and three. Northern but path. in the span of time that they've had remake one out, the other way. they Understand. have done like Devil May Cry one through three <laughs> on Switch. So uh, yeah, so this game's cool. It's got tank controls, which is weird. Um, yeah. Like it's it's basically samurai, uh, <clears throat> samurai Resident Evil. You can do that though. It's a cool like backdash, and if you hold and ready your sword, then you can do forward and backwards like that. Now, if I pull my sword out, he never puts the sword back again. Oh really? Yeah, you literally can't do it, which is why you get this cool pose only here, and then you bring it out, and now it's it's in his hand for the rest of the game. You you <laughs> as as far as I'm aware, <laughs> you cannot put it back. Jesus. Um, so the remake and the original also had like proper 3D movement. So I'm gonna run Kaede Rant the way the other direction, and whoa, fucking ninja! What am I supposed to do against this ninja, man? You look like a Zambi. A Zambi ninja. Oh wait, Princess Yuki's right there. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, why is Princess Yuki there? Princess it Yuki. Just, it just—it doesn't make any fucking sense to me. So these guys, um, you can't kill them right now. Which is fine. You just have to deal enough damage or take enough damage that this next cutscene takes place. Uh, so you just kind of... Yep, look. Oh, look. Gotta run away. Dude. We're ninjas. You succeeded. <laughs> you know, like... But yeah, look at his design. Like, it's it's just... It's a nice, deep fucking red samurai plate. And that's it. Like, there's, there's right nothing right. really, like, special about this design, I feel. But there's something that like really screams to me that it's like, yeah, Semenosuke, <laughs> he's cool. It's really you. So yeah, th this is, I, I feel like a lot of Capcom PS2 games actually had this where the beginning of the game is the weakest. And I feel like a lot of like original PS2 games kind of had that. Where so like much. the first 10 minutes, you're just kind of looking and going, I get it. What? I get, it's cool, I, you're, you're fine. Uh, but he's like, oh, what the, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's apparently an underground monster. There he is. But he's never underground ever again. <laughs> <laughs> he's just underground for this cutscene. He is. Worthless. And like, I love that design. It's it's just big demon. But <laughs> doesn't hesitate. <laughs> yeah, but he kind of got it. punk. No! <laughs> He, he knew he couldn't do it, but he was like, mm, I'm going to try. He has to try. 
So this this game I think only has not counting the intro cutscene. I think it only has th three <laughs> CG cutscenes. Really? Yeah. But each one is fucking radical. <laughs> like they, they put in their fucking effort. So leave the main character alive. Wake up. Exactly. That's smart. Hey man, here's the here's the question, right? People people have talked about this before, but did Samonosuke die? Right there. Not like in a weird like, oh, he was dreaming this whole game all along, you know, the mm -hmm. dumb fucking game theory bullshit that every game has. But like he's in the realm of ogres. With your current power, you are not and like they're like, yo, destroyed. you suck. But we, we can make you powers. unsuck. So like and this design choice, like this fucking radical, like cicada gauntlet. Uh, it's a spoiler, it's a gauntlet. The giving of uh, <laughs> right exactly. Oni gauntlet. Thank you. What's the difference? Uh, Oni gauntlet. <laughs> what? But yeah, like in the There's in the concept no artwork, it's like clearly like cicada based. Huh. Why is it? it? Just looks cool. Yeah, I think it's just just because it looks cool. <laughs> Which is, I mean, hey, that's how you design your character, right? All right. You make your character and you make him, you know, big dick. That's how you make him. So, thankfully, they trust that Semenosuke can read. Uh, because as soon as this gets uh, gets done, they give you a little manual of like, hey, this is how you work Gauntlet. He's super confident in the power of this Gauntlet. Oh, yeah. I mean, wouldn't he doesn't know what it does yet. Wouldn't you, though? I mean... It looks cool as fuck. If... if, if, if Ghost Purples gave me a radical gauntlet. I think it's cool, but I'm not like, oh, now I can kill that guy <laughs> with a see-through uh, cicada gauntlet. <laughs> but no, he can read. So he reads and goes, oh, okay, that's how it works. <laughs> uh, so there's something cool with the, the paper, and I think it only shows you in the instruction booklet. If you hit triangle on the PS2 or, like, whatever the, the topmost face button is, you can make the text disappear and you can see, like, the paper behind it. There is a reason later on there's a dude who has journals. Oh, uh, sorry. There's one more situation. Here, he also has no gauntlet. Uh, I mean, no sword out. But as soon as I pull my fucking sword out, he's going to be like, nope, it's in your hand for the rest of the game. So, uh, ooh, it's a magic mirror. What will you do? Save. Hey, everybody, don't look at all these saves that I just fucking showed all of you. Super detailed. Uh, <laughs> we're going to save on slot four. So finally here, uh, and these these pre-rendered backgrounds look great too. Like, oh man, this is some bad shit that went down. <laughs> and these guys are trying their best, but I I feel like they really aren't. They fucking suck. They sure did try. Oh, you fucking got me. So you can absorb with uh, B, and uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to do some fancy footwork here, but uh, I'm gonna get wrecked. Up. There we go. <laughs> That's some fancy footwork. Um, so you can you can hit enemies normally. You can uh, kick them, which knocks them down, which lets you stab them as long as they're human sized. Um, you can also get crits. So if you swing your sword right before an enemy hits you, mm. um, that's what was going on where the enemies kind of that, that yellow flash where they all died in basically one hit. And if you kill them with that, you get like way more souls and they also drop healing orbs Monster, or healing souls. The now, yeah. uh, these dudes are assholes. Good guy. Cause they're like, eh, fuck this guy. <laughs> I mean, one for the many, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, I respect it. Now here's the bad thing on switch. There's no lag. If you play in handheld mode, but there is lag if you play in any other mode. So getting crits is going to be a little bit hard for me in the beginning. Um, but that's okay. Because one way to get crits is if you block an attack right before it hits instead of uh, trying to swing. There you go. You can get a, a free crit, basically. And the way that all these weaker enemies work is if you absorb in front of them, they get mad and they come to swing you with the most basic attack ever which has like the most wide open window possible. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, just keep keep doing that. Just a hit and yell. Yeah, like, hey, hey, come get me. Come get me, idiot. God damn it, dude. Just kill him. Balls exposed live on stream. <laughs> 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 uh, 
All right, I gotta kill this guy. He was embarrassing me. Ha! Why do you get, just get more? Open for the door. I've killed yeah, you, yeah, you just get more for a critical, and if you do crit, kill. like it. Huh? What should we do? So, you use your souls to upgrade your equipment, and you'll upgrade your equipment way faster and way too early if you do it that way. Mm. So I think I think you. I didn't do that much grinding before. Ah! But the last time I played this sorry. game, I grinded sorry. the beginning, and by the time I reached the castle, which is like nowhere. fairly I close to the beginning, I had maxed out one of my weapons. <laughs> and you shouldn't do that. <laughs> the game just goes, okay, all the enemies are now punk asses that die in like one fucking hit. And it's like, oh, cool. So I love that when he opened the door, he just like shoved the motherfucker aside, and he's like, oh, sorry. You know, like, yeah, that's not enough, bro. Um, so, I should mention that you can stab forward as well as doing the kick. Oh, there you Oh, my God. It's forward based on the camera. Mm -hmm. How terrible. Um, but your regular attacks are all, like, horizontal swings. So, it's like this. Oh. Which is a cool, like, basic combo. But, uh, yeah, these guys, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't fuck around. I do not know the timing of these uh, these ninja <laughs> enemies. Because they do all these crazy hops and shit, and they'll attack from off screen like a bunch of assholes. Because, you know, that's just, that's not samurai like, you know, that's not fair. Seem to give you a lot of souls, though, regardless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't even do something like, it's not even double. Oh, scary pants. Uh, <laughs> these are not as bad as the ones in fours. Oh, God, fuck those. <laughs> those things will fucking, they'll, they'll get make you, you good. jump every time. Probably play the forest sometimes for this. <laughs> Come on, you gotta play. Uh, Darius says he's super down to play the forest sometime too. Oh, yeah? yeah, he's not usually one for first person uh, I was gonna melee. Say, yeah, I, I thought you mentioned that he didn't like whatever that game had to offer. Yeah, but uh, I mean, he's, he's down for scariness a little bit, as long as it's not VR. Oh, oh yeah. you. Oh, the kid. hopefully that came Kitty. up. <laughs> Kitty! Don't you yell at my cat? I want her. Come here. Come here. Did you just call my cat a dumby? <laughs> <laughs> so I just picked up Sugan's note from this uh, uh, monk. And it's Bye. basically him being like, Yo, brave people, there's an ogre gauntlet that lets you kill demons. It's cool, and if you don't have it, you're dead. Um, but th that's why you have that. So you can take a look and be like, oh, okay, it's cool art. When do you get that blast he's doing? Uh, never. It's, that it's sucks. so, it's so lame. Why <laughs> would they tease it? Nah, dude, he's just, it's a, it's a visual representation of absorbing his soul. It's not a Kamehameha. No. Well, fuck it. <laughs> Make the Hadouken. Nah, bro. Uh, you do get that in the later games though. Oh yeah? No. No? No, it's a complete lie. I fucked you. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, really, you really held on to that life for a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's that's. Oh God, I'm not dead. I'm fine. Come on, you little bitch. I'll kill you. See what I mean, though? Like the lag fucking sucks. Like it's just enough to make it so things don't work the way you want it to, and it's like. <clears throat> um. I just blitzed past that on accident because I'm trying to fucking not die here. Because um, <laughs> Noah's uh, Noah's making me nervous. Yeah. He's like, James, yeah, I'll blow your ass out if you die. Don't get blown up. <laughs> don't get blown up, James. Um, so th there's an item here that I'll show off once. 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 It's okay. This game is kind of making me want to play Sekiro though. Oh yeah. Well, it's this is a better Sekiro. Shoot. I doubt it. <laughs> Oh, so here's the first journal. Um, basically, this master and apprentice followed monsters that were getting kidnapped, and uh, they followed them to a cave. And he's like, "I can draw a little bit, so here's uh, here's our adventure." <laughs> um, so that that purple demon up there is just getting fucking rocked. It's pretty dope. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. You, you'll find his notes throughout the game. So this is a dragon orb. Um, just the the Shiden. Is that like the new arm or whatever? Yeah. Or weapon exactly so it's a cool katana and right off the bat it's like oh i can clearly see that i'm never gonna use the normal sword ever fucking <laughs> again um and guess what you won't this one's like lightning isn't it correct <clears throat> so now triangle becomes your magic attack which doesn't actually at least with this weapon it doesn't 
costs you magic to use until you actually connect. Um, and it's a bit stronger than the um, normal sword right now. So they've got these trick treasure boxes. So you see in the upper left, it's like, ah, oh, you got three moves to be able to like solve the puzzle. And they get kind of dumb later on, but this one's pretty easy. Ta-da, you open it. Um, and you're actually forced to open at least this one. Oh, really? Yeah, because it gives you a rope ladder, and you use that rope ladder, like, right the fuck up here. Oh. Or not right up here. Um, That's kind of weird that you can kind of just walk past it. Yeah. And then you, straight up, you have to come all the way back. Yeah. So there's a chest over here. Oh. It's got a magic jewel. So Is magic jewels. Or yeah, Magatama. Yeah. Looks like it. So it just increases your magic. Um, which, I mean, there's no reason not to use them yeah. for obvious reasons. Unless you're trying to play on hard mode. Yeah, exactly. I uh, One of my playthroughs, uh, I went through and didn't heal at all and, like, didn't use those. Yeah. Just because I was like, do I need these? And the answer was no. <laughs> um, so on this screen, you can see that I have 970 total souls. That number really doesn't mean anything because, like, right. it doesn't really, like, give you a description of, like, this is how many souls it takes to get to whatever. And I'll save too because don't blow your own asshole out. Bada bing. Now we're at the gate B. Um, so these are trick treasure boxes as well, where you have a whole bunch of garbage down here. <laughs> um, That's a lot of symbols. And you find these books. <clears throat> so you can see that, like, the first one, for some reason, this book only has four words. Um, it's subverted a man their power against. So when you get all of these books, then you can actually answer these questions of like, mm. yo, what's good? Who's right. causing problems? Can you just open them if you know the answer? Absolutely. No. Yeah. Um, so this is neat, too, because weapons are keys in this game. Oh, right. And it's just I, I've never seen this concept really used in other places. Just a Metroidvania. I mean, that's true. Yeah, way to blow my asshole out right <laughs> fucking immediately. <laughs> so these guys are also like, boom, that's a normal crit. Oh, oh my god, they got nothing. No, they got nothing. I think that's the same attack as the first guy. It pretty much is, but their window I think is bigger. Oh really? Like, look, look at that. <laughs> Disrespect your surroundings. Hey man, so sometimes you gotta, look at that. Boom, this ain't my castle. <laughs> I didn't pay for this bitch.